The Gender Empowerment and Equality Program began from an action of gender analysis. This identified particular key areas being the hindrance to the participation of women within the organization. So with that then, we were able to develop, in this case, a gender policy and strategy for Findlay's. We also had to put in place a number of programs to actually address the skill gaps that was present. In gender empowerment program, it has actually prepared me as a person to believe in myself more. I've actually showed interest and even be able to do so many things within the, the place of work. I came in as a, a trainee manager in 2015. Then somewhere in, towards the end of that year, we were trained on gender empowerment, gender inclusivity, and unconscious biasness. And that um, gave us a basis and a basic tool to be able to sit at the table. And as ladies, we were told, how best can you improve your women leadership role here? There are trainings that have been taken through. One of the trainings being the Women Empowerment Program. And all those trainings have been very instrumental to me on my day-to-day -day operations. For the apprenticeship, it's a two years program, which in this case, the women do both the internal program, that is the hands-on experience, and then they attend classes within the technical institution that we have partnered with. And this is a plus because it gives them an ability to actually have a skill and to have a certificate, and therefore they can compete for jobs with men, not only within Finlay's, but anywhere within the country. Kwa hii kazi ya carpentry, nilipata kupitia skora sipu ya chenda, empowerment. Nika train hiyo 2016 in the Resource Technical Training Institute. Nika mariza shule 2017, mwezi wa kumina moza. Enye wana umewengi, wanapenda hii kazi, na sisi wanawake tuko na challenge kwa sababu, wawa wanajiona kwamba hii ni kazi yao, si kazi ya wanawake. Lakini tangu ningie kwa hii kazi, Mi nimependa hii kazi na nimechitolea ninajua imenitoa mbali. One of the key achievements is the fact that right now we have effective women within uh, the different areas. Number two, there is at least accommodation and appreciation of the women and the value they add within the company. And thirdly, we have been able to actually achieve the women numbers within these particular areas.